is ready for another dim sum video. So if you've watched my videos recently, then you may have seen the dim sum etiquette do and don'ts uploaded. So now you know how to act in a dim sum restaurant. It's time to get to the ordering. So today's all about how you can order the best classic authentic dim sum for beginners. So for people who already have an interest in dim sum, but aren't too confident in coming in and ordering by themselves or for their friends, then this one is gonna make you an absolute dim sum pro and whiz. I am joined by my friend Ellie, who's very kindly filming this video. And you would have seen her beautiful face in lots of travel vlogs actually. And also the vlog where we ate really, really spicy noodles and she temporarily lost her hearing. Um, so today we're gonna do some dim sum and we've ordered a ton for the purpose of this video, obviously, for like research. Uh, but first things first, when you first come to the dim sum restaurant, make sure to ask for the dim sum menu because quite often they may give you the westernized stuff and we don't we don't want that. Uh, so usually it looks like something like this. You get a little pen and then you can just tick off all the things you want and then hand it to the server and then they'll just get it prepared for you. So we've done that, we've got eight different baskets and now we're ready to eat. Oh, yeah. If you really want to impress the Asian people, add in some taro, because this is a taro croquette. So if you're familiar with other cuisines like Spanish or Dutch cuisine, then it's a little bit of a different variation to uh, one of a European croquette, because it's super, super flaky and delicate at the top, and inside you've got some minced meat and onions, and it's a very, very, like, kind of, I don't know how to describe it, kind of like a, the meat you would prepare before a bolognese, but before yeah. you put in the sauce, it tastes like that. I'm gonna take a bite and show you. Inside the flaky but you've got like a little layer of taro and it makes the whole thing a lot more creamier and like mushier to put it in a really technical term. <laughs> it's kind of like a pasty potato. Yeah. Like a heavier mashed potato. It's really Moorish. Like the taro makes it really, really creamy like a traditional croquette but obviously it's a mashed potato, you've got taro, you've got the minced meat, some onions in there, a flaky top, and it's just a really good introduction to dim sum. Mm. I feel like this could be like a mohawk. <laughs> a little mohawk dumpling. See you know what it's like. I've not had this for such a long time. Mm. Does this have your approval? Mm -hmm. It's not too oily. The and the flavour's good. We got three more things that just arrived. Another classic dish is chan fan. So this is like a rice noodle wrapped around some prawns. It's steamed and then it sits on a plate of soy sauce and it's so good. So good. If you love noodles and seafood and prawns, I can't even describe like, how good it is. It's actually very light as well and it's very healthy because it's holding your steam, but it's just a very addictive dish. And the rice noodles are all like very, very light and like, I want to say the word slippery, but that's not like the right <laughs> word. Yeah, it like melts in your mouth. It melts in your mouth, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and we also got some turnip cake. So this again is a very classic like Cantonese gum shump dish and it's um, lots of grated radish mixed together into an almost like a cake and inside you've got bits of ham and dry shrimps inside and then it's pan fried. It's a comfort food and I think it's a good food to have during winter months. It's a bit cold outside uh, and it's really really good when you dip it with some chilli oil. It brings out the flavour. Very good. And then this is the one that we've ordered because Ellie's never had it before and I love it. Um, I don't think you can find this in like every dim sum restaurant but today we're at the Golden Phoenix and I have it here but it is a prawn spicy dumpling in a spicy soup and the inside I've got lots of different like scallions over the top it's a really really chilli broth it's a little bit oily but it's almost like wonton in a spicy soup it's delicious we're gonna have the other four dishes we've ordered before the video, before the video. <laughs> before the video. research research for you guys <laughs> Okay, do you want to talk us through this one? This one is what the English term is a crystal prawn dumpling. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is the soup dumpling. We love. 
<gasps> Yum. Yeah, we just ordered the chili oil. Yeah, I thought this was the chili oil. Or was yeah, this a I like one? I like chili oil, but they gave me chili sauce. Uh, so yeah, I like chili, yeah, chili, chili oil. oil. Always ask for the sauces separately as well. And then this one is <laughs> I don't have still mine. Yeah. If I say it, I say it in a really Japanese way. <laughs> What were the Japanese way of saying it really? Shumai. <laughs> so this is like the three holy trinity of dim sum I always, always talk about. So I won't go into it too much, but yeah. Also, you, you can't put them out because then it won't be warm, will it? So that's what I want to talk about. <laughs> so it's good to stack it to retain the heat. More pockets. <laughs> I need to do this emoji. <laughs> I, I'm always so scared of breaking it. Yeah. Is it still hot? It's okay, it's not really hot. But vinegar? Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Do you like? <laughs> is glutinous rice and this is Ellie's favourite and it's so good so it's wrapped in lotus leaves so when you wrap in lotus leaf and then you steam it it makes the rice and the filling even more fragrant because it kind of draws in the flavours from the, from the lotus leaves and it also makes sure that it doesn't dry out inside uh, because it's well protected but obviously you don't eat the leaf I mean you can if you want but I wouldn't recommend it and then when you break it up in the middle some places have have an egg yolk with a salted egg yolk but usually you have like chicken you've got some Chinese mushrooms you've got some Chinese uh, cured sausages which is so delicious there we go so we see some Chinese sausage right in the middle and you've got some like chicken bits you've got some Chinese mushrooms and it is just like a surprise parcel if you love rice if you love meat if you want something that I hate the word but like moist really 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 good dish and it's just so fragrant and aromatic um, and it's just a good one to have a little bit of carbs but it won't fill you up too much with a big plate of noodles must order so i think we've gone for everything now all eight dishes today so um yeah hope you enjoyed it let me know if you order any of these dishes if you are new to the channel please hit subscribe and the little notification bell so you get notified every time a new food travel or lifestyle video comes up and if you are an existing subscriber then thank you for coming back and um, please give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, and I'm going to tuck into this now and I'll see you in the next video.